You're watching the firearmschannel.com. Hi, I'm Rob Latham with Springfield Armory at the 2015 SHOT Show Media Day. I'd like to show you a new model that we're producing this year. This is a 1911 operator model. We call it the MC operator, which has to, to do with the specification that it has. The MC stands for Marine Corps. A few years ago, probably more than a few, the Marine Corps put out a, a tender that they wanted a 1911 with a few specific uh, features on it. One was to have a, a, a rail on it to be able to put lights, lasers, whatever whatever uh, uh, equipment you want to hang on it. And they wanted a certain specification. They wanted Packmire grips, no checkering on the gun. They wanted a beaver tail. They wanted uh, ambidextrous safeties, a different hammer. Uh, these particular one has night sights on it because that was all how they checked it. They wanted that finish, the green and black. So we named our version of the gun the Marine Corps Operator. We call it the MC Operator. This is a new variant of that gun that we just came out with this year. We took off the pack wire drips, the rubberized grips that have the PS panel that goes around the front, and we've added a serration pattern on the front strap that allows you to get a good grip on the gun without being so abrasive that it would either hurt your hands or start tearing up your clothing. But it makes, a, makes it easier to control. Uh, but it's just uh, a very nice 1911 to begin with. So let me shoot a couple shots and show you how it works. So there you go, the Springfield Armory MC operator. This is Ernest speaking from Sarsalmas. Sarsalmas is a company from 18th century and we are the biggest distributor for the second biggest army in NATO, which is Turkish army. And this is SAR 109T. Uh, it's a blowback action submachine gun and uh, it's available in two versions. This is the tactical version, there's another commercial version. And it's using Colt 9mm magazines and it's available as full auto and semi-auto. Okay available in the United States this year, so the pricing will come later on. Hello, my name is Tori Nonaka and I'm with Team Glock and we're out at the media day and we have the opportunity to try out the new pistols that Glock has to offer for 2015. And we have also the MOS platform, which is really great that Glock has to offer. It comes in the 34, 35, 41, and the 40. And it's all, all these pistols are Gen 4, so you get all of those great benefits that Gen 4 has to offer. And specifically about the new optic system that we have, competition has kind of trailblazed optics for us and we've seen that there's many great applications for an optic so Glock has finally offered that as an option and there's four different plates to be installed so you can choose between eight of the most popular optics to be used and we also comes with a plate if you want to still use iron sights you can go ahead and insert the plate and it will be just like a normal Glock when you shoot a dot, you just have to line up that one dot on the target and you see it rise up and come right back down. And so that's great for the newcomer and it really increases the speed for already proficient shooters. We also have to offer is our new Glock pistol. It's the biggest Glock pistol we've made yet. It's the Glock 40 and 10 millimeter. So, and you can call this gun the Hunter is the nickname for it. This is great for hunting because it, it has that stout round and it also has a really long barrel so this gets you range and so you can have make those further shots. The engineers of Glock also thought to leave the metal on the slide so that helps because then you'll have more weight in the front of the, of the Glock so that it can help control the recoil.
I'm Ray Fetta with Beretta, and this is the RX100 SBR 10.3 inch version of the RX100. Uh, it's 16 inch RX100 we launched last year, uh, and what the new one for 2015 has is a 10.3 inch SBR barrel. The barrel will be available as a complete gun that you can buy as an SBR, or the barrel kit so you can retrofit your existing RX100 and make it an SBR. The RX100 has uh, com maintains all the great features it had before. All the controls are ambidextrous, from the selector to the magazine release to the bolt catch are both mirrored, are all mirrored on, on the other side of the gun. Charging handle is also reversible, and I'll show you that. So right now it's set up on the left side of the gun. If I want it on the other side, I just pull it to the middle reference mark, pull it out. Rotate it through, push it back in. Now I have the charging handle on the other side. Now in addition, ejection is also reversible. So if I take a bullet tip and press it in here, I can eject left or right for the empty casings. Uh, the RX100 is a piston-driven uh, modular gun, so I can change barrels out uh, as easy. In addition to having two different sizes, I can swap the barrels very easily. It also has a folding and telescoping stock, so you can adjust the ergonomics of it. So we have this gun set up with some of our sister company, uh, the laser devices, Steiner E-Optics D-Ball. So it's an a, uh, infrared uh, illuminator and laser designator, as well as a uh, visible laser. And we also have the battle light, uh, 500 lumen light that's mounted on there as well. So we've got a fully equipped uh, SBR that's ready for anything. So hello everybody, my name is Hagai Katz. I'm an instructor at IWI, which is Israel Weapon Industries. Uh, I work for Israeli company and we are working with our uh, partners in IWI Harrisburg, IWI US. Uh, what you see here is the Uzi Pro Pistol. Uzi Pro Pistol, uh, this is actually a pistol based on the submachine gun. The Uzi Pro that is used in special forces in Israel. For many years, the Uzi was a famous weapon uh, all over the world, actually, um, because of its reliability and the way it functions and uh, that it's so compact. Uh, most VIP protection and special forces uh, like very much to use this kind of, uh, of weapon. Um, as you can see here, we have a safety, safe, and fire. Uh, semi-auto, of course, only semi-auto, this is a pistol. In the future, in the short future, you will see the stabilizing brace that you can use. Uh, you can mount it on here, on the back. You will be able to mount the stabilizing brace, and you know how it works. Um, gives you very good shots, very uh, high accuracy. Uh, the things that we change from the traditional Uzi, the famous legendary Uzi submachine gun, is that we move the cocking handle from the upper uh, place of the weapon from here to the side and this way you can mount accessories optics on top of it on the Picatinny rail and we have also a pick rail a short pick rail right here to mount uh, laser designators torches flashlights whatever um, the other thing that we changed we made a pistol release lever right here right here as you can see to, to fast release of the mag you don't need to move to here or anything else. In the traditional Uzi, we had it here, down here. We moved it up here, so it will be much faster. We have also a safety grip right here. You need to press this one in order to operate the system. If you don't press this one, you won't be able to fire. So we have the safety here. We have the safety grip. Um, this is an amazing pistol, as I see it. Um, used for many years, battle proven. And the IDF, not this specific version, is for the commercial market. But this one is absolutely based on the current issue that we use in Special Forces and VIP Forces in the IDF. How you doing? I'm Tommy Thacker, President of Armalite. Today we're going to talk about our new three-gun rifle. This is the M15 3GN18, designed from the ground up to be the best three-gun rifle out of the box. It comes to retail for $1,600.
We'll start with some of the features. Complete, complete adjustability. We partner with Randy Luth on the Luth MB1 stop. It's partnered with us for Armalite. It's completely adjustable for length of pull and cheek height. Little screw here, adjust out, push it out, link the pull, put it back in, lock it in place where you want to go. Some of the other features, we've got an ambidextrous charging handle, we have ambi safety, we've got our new design handguard that's completely skeletonized for lightweight, fast heat dissipation, keeps the gun nice and light in your hands. We run key mod rail system all the way down. We also take a deeper cut inside that allows you to put a sling swivel, QD mount, in any open key mod slot, except for a place where you might not have space underneath. Talking about space underneath, our adjustable gas block. See the adjustment screw on the side, adjustment screw lock in the front, so you can tune the gas port, make it exactly how you want it. Full stainless steel barrel chambered in 223 Wild. Our new comp, the comp keeps the gun super flat and allows you to fine tune the gun for your recoil comfort. You basically throw off the top hole or the right hole for a right-handed shooter, and that gives a jet, jet port out the side, it keeps the gun flat, keeps it on target. The idea behind this gun is to keep it flat and fast on target, to let everybody be a three-gun champion. Paul Corsi from Standard Manufacturing. This is a 12-gauge, double-barrel, pump shotgun. Has recoil suppression, sling mount features, Mag pull accessory features, Picatinny rails for different sight mounts, Picatinny rail on the forend for different grips. You can also mount a little Picatinny rail for a light on the front. Choke tubes, single trigger, AR type safety. Now we're going to load one. Seven shells in the magazines. Seven in the magazine. If you want 16, you can load your chamber. Now we got 16 in the gun. Well, it was the inspiration of uh, Rich Wilson, and basically. It's a redundancy if you have a bad bad round, you still get your second round with that just that trigger pick without pumping. Also, we can get 16 off in eight seconds instead of pumping 16 times. We can load our magazines without flipping and we don't have to switch to our magazines. I think we're the fastest shotgun out. Hi, my name is Rick Homey. I'm with Legacy Sports International and I'd like to talk to you about our new line of pointer over under shotguns today. These shotguns are built for us uh, specifically uh, with the Upland Game Hunter in mind. We offer them in 12, 20, 28 and 410 gauges plus a 20 gauge youth model. Now with the 410 gauge it comes with fixed chokes but all the other guns have five interchangeable chokes. You've got a fiber optic front bead, You've got a raised ventilated rib for quick target acquisition, Turkish walnut stock, single select trigger, um, extractors instead of ejectors. Uh, it's, got an, or it's got an automatic safety on it, so every time you close the gun, uh, the safety goes on. It's just an extra safety precaution. Uh, actually, in the sub gauges, it's a great gun for a youth to start hunting upland bird with. I'm Andreas Weber, the CEO of the card company from Germany. We present this year on the industry day our latest model, model Sky Marshall, a revolver in 9mm Parabellum with his own loader. We have an ejection system without 
moon clips. We have on this revolver a small Picantini rail. We have an option to use a laser unit on this revolver. This revolver has an adjustable rear sight and only the weight of 560 grams. It shoots 9 mm very precise. On 15 meter we have a, um, an, uh, an accuracy on 31 mm with 9 para and with the speed load. Hi, I'm Russ Page with Crossman Corporation. Today we're showing the Bulldog 357 air gun. It's a 357 caliber pre-charged pneumatic air gun. It has a five round magazine. It's a side cocking action. As I mentioned, it's a PCP rifle or pre-charged pneumatic, so it has a, air, a compressed air reservoir that's inside the body of the gun here. Holds 3,000 PSI of air. That'll give you about 10 full power shots. It has an integral shroud over the barrel to suppress the sound. It's fairly quiet. It will produce up to 180 foot-pounds of energy using a 145 grain nozzler. As you can see, it's a bullpup design, so it's fairly short. It's 36 inches overall. And without the accessories like scope and, and uh, front mount, it's about 7.7 .7 pounds. It's a two-stage non-adjustable trigger, breaks at around three pounds, and it retails for under $1,000. Shawnee here with Beretta USA at SHOT Show 2015, showing our new left-handed semi-auto. Uh, we haven't had a semi-auto for a long time, so we're very excited to launch this. It's a gas-operated, features a self-cleaning gas piston, badass up to hunting. All right, what we have here is our Omega suppressor. This is what we're launching this year at SHOT Show. And one thing we did about the Omega is uh, we took a combination of several of our cans and we, um, we integrated the anchor brake, uh, titanium, and stellite into a 13-ounce can that's hearing safe, rated all the way up to 300 Win Mag. And uh, we can run this can on anything from a 300 Win Mag all the way down to 22250, 22 Hornet. So it's a very versatile can. Uh, it comes with with a, a, a device, a muzzle device, like a, a, a muzzle brake. So you can either get that in 30 cal or 223. And you can either do the quick on and off, or you can do a direct thread model. It's our quietest can to date. Right now with a 300 blackout subsonic, we're running about 119 decibels. So if you want me to, I'll run a couple through it. Then we can move over there, take a look at the shotgun. That was a 12 gauge shotgun. As you can see, I'm not wearing hearing protection. This is our Salvo 12. Uh, it comes, when you buy it, it comes in this 12 inch configuration. And what's cool about this is it's modular. You can buy a, a rod kit for it and either make it 10, 8, or 6 inches long, depending on what you're going to use it for, what your application is. I personally use an 8 inch model for hunting. Uh, it's a little bit easier to, to maneuver around in a duck blind. So uh, that's, that's the size that I personally like using for my own personal use. Uh, it, it was. It came about by being. Um, my boss was in a, in a duck blind, and he goes, "Wow, that's a really loud shotgun." So he started thinking about ways to make a shotgun suppressor, and here we are today, shooting it for you. We launched this back in August, and uh, there's been a lot of anticipation for it here at Shot Show. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Re again, reduces recoil, reduces noise at the shooter's ear. You can hunt. You can shoot recreationally without having to wear your pro. All right, hi, my name's Mike and I'm from Chris USA. Uh, this is an example of the new 2015 version of, of our Vector carbine. Um, it's got a few accessories on there and then there's some differences compared to the previous models. And we're expecting that these uh, new versions of Vector ship around quarter two of uh, this year. Now what we have here is the new barrel shroud. Okay, functionally, 
It's a uh, barrel shroud, but basically it follows the styling and contours of the vector receiver. Now you can purchase this as an accessory um, starting about quarter two. Um, also with the housing, it's a little bit different. You have more texturing on the front of the magazine well, and you have texturing on the rear of the pistol grip. This allows you to get more of a positive grip, especially when you're shooting. Um, what we also have here is a AR stock adapter. We introduced this last year, and as an example, we put on the Magpul UBR stock, you know, to basically uh, uh, provide more of the, expand upon the carbine option that you have. Now, it does not fold, but it does allow you to attach a mil-spec buffer tube to be able to accommodate any type of AR stock. This is specifically chambered in uh, 45, and um, what we also are announcing is the fact that we're going to have a 9mm vector, and the housings, the lower, actually the lower receivers are all compatible. So you can actually get your 45 carbine, switch it out for the uh, lower receiver of a uh, 9mm, and it all worked just fine. All you got to do is remove the three takedown pins, and you're good to go. And another thing for this year, we have two Cerakote colors that were coming um, from our factory, which is OD Green and also Flat Dark Earth. And um, if you notice, the trigger is going to be a little bit different. Now, the standard vector trigger goes straight back. This is actually more of a pivoting trigger. And it provides a little bit more of a cleaner reset than um, the previous versions. And then the selector switch, instead of being in the previous versions where you almost had to break your grip in order to move it from safe to fire, now it's a shorter throw. So in that simple motion, I can actually take the weapon off of safe into fire without having to break my grip. And uh, just like the previous versions, it's uh, you know, we, we will have um, uh, extension kits available for any people who own Glock 21 mags, and so you can convert them to 25 round mags. And for our 9mm version, you can take your 33 round or 17 round Glock magazines and still fit them inside the vector. Man. Oh, man. Hi, I'm Scott Grange, Director of Public Relations and Shooting Promotions for Browning. Last year we introduced the Browning AB3, a little less expensive rifle, bolt action, that the individual who's always wanted a bolt action Browning could afford. It's packed with features. We've scrimped nowhere. First of all, the large oversized chrome bolt and three locking lugs. The three locking lugs I really like because what that gives us is the short 60, to three, 60 degree bolt throw that the Brownings have always been popular for. I don't, I don't pinch my thumb between the bolt and the uh, scope during cold weather when I've got big bulky gloves on. Another real neat feature, I can leave it in the safe position and if I want to open the bolt, all I've got to do is hit the bolt unlock button and open the bolt. I do not have to put the safety in the fire position to do that. I like that feature a lot. Something else I like, drop out magazine. I like to carry an extra magazine in my pocket. That way I've always got one handy. It doesn't happen very often that I need that many rounds, but you never know when you got a pack of coyotes coming at you. You got to reload real quick. It's easy to do. Button rifling. We have had tremendous success with button riflings through the years in the A-Bolt, the uh, new X-Bolt, and now the AB3. Extremely accurate, awesome recoil pad, inflex recoil pad, very soft, very nice pad. This little baby's packed with features. It's a great rifle, priced right for the individual that's always wanted a Browning, the best there is. Uh, you're asking me about the, uh, the popular misconceptions about suppressors. Uh, a lot of people think that they're an assassin's tool, uh, James Bond, Hollywood. Uh, a lot of that's where a lot of the misconception comes from, that it's this whisper quiet, um, something that's used by criminals. And uh, that's, that's, that's very grossly false. It's, it's something that's a tool that can be used, and it's more for shooter enjoyment than it is for trying to be quiet or, or, or poaching or something of that nature. As you can see, you know, we're, we have guys shooting all around, and you can still hear them. You know, we're shooting, uh, even though we shot subsonic through this, 
you can shoot supersonics through it and you're still going to get the supersonic crack of a bullet down range. You're just not going to get it right at your ear. So it's more for shooting enjoyment. Situational awareness, I'm not having to wear earplugs where I'm having to take hearing protection on and off to hear what's going on around me. I can have a conversation with somebody. So that, that's one of the huge benefits. Another one is recoil reduction. You're looking at about anywhere from 30 to 40 percent recoil reduction on, on certain cans depending on the ammo. And uh, with recoil reduction, you're going to get less flinch. You're going to get less anticipation, which is going to make you a better shooter. So those are the things that we try to tell people that these are the positives of suppressors. Uh, it, it's, it's not an assassin's tool. It's not something that can be you know, used for poaching. Uh, what we've always said is you know, outlaws are always going to be outlaws, and they're going to break the law regardless. And uh, this is something for recreational shooters and hunters um, all over the country. You're watching the firearmschannel.com.